Ladakh. The northern tip of India, for all its vibrancy and stark beauty, is a difficult place to live in. Perhaps because while the rest of India keeps its date with the 21st century, using energy as a key ingredient for growth, Ladakh continues to hover somewhere in the labyrinth of time. India needs energy. Uh, as you see that uh, 1.2 billion people, 40% of our people are without energy. The region is so vast, so huge. It is extremely difficult for, uh, for any agency to take up that uh, transmission line to these regions. Technically, it is uh, you know, uh, not feasible and it is also not economical. We frequently had to switch on to generators and uh, diesel generators, which were disturbing the ecological balance, you know, emitting those horrible smoke, noise pollution and then uh, the running cost, maintenance, which were very high. But fortunately for the people of Ladakh, they seem to possess, or so it would seem, a magic mantra. God has given a sun which is free, and we feel that there has been so much of pollution in the world, that renewable energy is the answer to meet the future of this world, where carbon emissions will be less. The beauty of solar is, you know, you can generate energy at the point of use. Solar doesn't distinguish or discriminate between rich and the poor, rural or the urban. You can generate solar to meet a household need, a community need, an institution need. And a place like Leh Ladakh, is the most appropriate and relevant uh, geographical area in the country where solar can do fantastic things. Solar power is just, uh, it is free, is abundantly available in Ladakh, and it's clean, it has no effect on the ecological balance, and it's dependable, at least in Ladakh. Out of 365 days in a year, I suppose 360 days are sunny days. So that's why we uh, really enjoy it here, because almost every day the sun is shining. Because Ladakh is situated at a very, very high altitude. If you compare the plane, we are about 3.5 to 4 kilometers above the horizon. So it is first to get the sunlight and is to last get, get the sunlight. Therefore, the day duration is very high. Here in Ladakh, radiation is high, but the ambient temperature is low. So the efficiency of the solar panels is extremely high. While it is more than two decades now since initial efforts to harness the sun were initiated in Ladakh, the decision by Tata Power Solar Systems Limited to set up an office at an altitude of 11,000 feet in 2001 proved to be a truly visionary step. Leh Ladakh has a population of around 1.25 lakhs and there is an equal uh, around 1.5 lakh of Indian army there. So the kind of electricity which is being required is huge and solar is the perfect solution. And looking at the prospects and what is the need for solar in that area, Tata BP Solar had set up their first office, one of the solar offices which you find and it is the highest office in the world I will say. The Tata BP was the first to come, you know. So that was the first solar power plant in the northern region. They installed uh, 5,600 uh, uh, solar home lighting system and 3,600 uh, solar lantern and these were all distributed to all remote villages and nomads of Ladakh. We are doing something in the national context and all that we do do tail into the national perspective. We are not here just to supply a product. We are here to solve people's water problems for irrigation and drinking, the lighting problems to emancipate their lives, to improve education system at homes, and we want children to go to schools. We want to improve connectivity to our villages. So our, our perspective and canvas is much wider than just being a product supplier. So we have positioned ourselves as a total systems company. I think it is private sector that has to play a major role. Government is only a facilitator. It is a private partnership with the people that will work. And that is what is important. And that is where we are using people. Tata BP is one of them who is doing major work. 
Obviously then, Ladakh has become the nation's first region to be fully covered under the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy's Rural Electrification Projects. Nearly 500 crores for the region of Ladakh to develop solar energy. You will be surprised that in the remotest areas you've got solar stations giving power to the people. All the villages we have solar uh, systems installed in the most remote villages. They are not a single house in Ladakh at, as of now in any remote village which is not having uh, solar power, uh, solar uh, home lighting system. बच्चे लोग हमें यहाँ पे पढ़ाई के लिए काफी सुविधा मिलते हैं और बुढ़े लोग और आते हैं सब ट्यूशन देखते हैं सर हमारे यहाँ शादी हुआ तो रात को तो वो बिजली बंद हो गया तो हम काम से काम रात ग्यारह बजे से सुबह एक दो बजे तक चलाया No mean achievement considering the logistical hardships involved Climate it's really tough as everybody is aware that in a year we can work only six months in that particular area. Because the temperature is very low here in the in winter season, the temperature goes down to sometimes uh, minus 25 degree, sometimes minus 35 degree also. So we have to complete all our uh, work uh, within this uh, four to five months. But as a pioneer, Tata Power Solar Systems Limited has been and is at the forefront of many exciting developments in the solar industry in India. With offices across nine locations and a competent green workforce numbering more than a thousand, it has a host of solutions on offer. Tata Power Solar Systems Limited continues to reinvent itself as a fully integrated solution provider from wafer to cell, making modules, subsystems and systems. Apart from which, it undertakes installations, commissioning, maintenance, service and training. However, its core vision continues to remain its endeavor to become a world-class solar solution provider touching a billion lives. Confidence of people has gone up. Uh, the Tata BP is, you know, uh, a fast choice to, you know, a pasture solar product actually. You, you, can, you can ask anyone. This yeah, solar system comes from the hospital and the patient. Ko, dono ko ek, taraf se ek nahi life has got a new life. Because this um, system comes from the system, we have a lot of work in our work and the patient has a lot of benefit. I don't know what to do with the people. I don't know what to do with the people. I don't know what to do with the people. I don't know what to do with the people. टाटा कंपनी वाले खुद आके यहाँ करते हैं ये पहले से लेके अभी तक उन्होंने सब कुछ खुद ही किया है कोई मतलब अलग से कोई या हॉस्पिटल की तरफ से मतलब हमें कुछ नहीं करना है From the beginning of installation, we are involving local person so that he can train during the installation itself uh, to maintain the system after installation. I have here for two months, बैटरी का हम ये ग्रेविटी चेक करा दे करते रहते हैं तो उसमें हर छः महीने के बाद हम इसमें डिस्टिल वाटर डाल के इसको चेंज कराते रहते हैं इस तरह मेंटेनेंस रखते हैं इनका तो डी लास्ट टू इयर्स टाटा बीपी हैड इंस्टॉल्ड वाटर हीटिंग सिस्टम्स हियर एंड ड्यूरिंग पीक विंटर मंथ्स वी आर नाउ एबल at the campus, the old age, the elderly people. TV in ke garung me chalne laga to, inko connectivity ho gaya ki dunya ke saath. Ki inko ye pata lag raha hai ki is wakat ki bhai baaki ke log bhi kaise jee raha hai, kaise zindagi kar raha hai. To ye log awareness le raha hai in chizun se. Because quite simply, social and economic equity can only follow once energy equity is inclusively prevalent. Tata BP Solar is committed to mitigate the energy poverty in the country and to reach our energy solutions to the nooks and corners of the country. Our, our intention is to serve the poor and serve the needy and then make, pro make profits and reinvest that in growth. With 45% of Indians still struggling to find access to something as simple as an electric bulb, the solar project in Ladakh and its achievements in improving the quality of life for the people becomes even more meaningful. Everywhere where you go, 
it has given a life, not only light, it has given life to people. They can use anytime, anywhere. This is a really most uh, you know, handy and most uh, reliable source of uh, energy. It's a win-win situation, absolutely win-win situation. As it's God sent gift that we have his energy and we are for the first time utilizing it for the good of the people. We may not give much importance to simple chores, such as being able to eat medicine in the glow of a CFL lamp, or even the luxury of eating one's evening meal in some light once it's dark, of having the choice to fix one's personal computer because there is access to energy, or just listening to the sounds of the Azan. But none of this would have become possible in Ladakh without the coming of solar power. A lesson, no doubt, in creating sustainable futures for all of us.